Now, the royal wedding is still more than five months away, but we're getting a glimpse now of Prince William and Kate Middleton's fairy tale courtship with their official engagement portraits were released. The couple released two of the photos, one formal and one not so formal. Our next guest is the features editor at OK Magazine. Eloise Parker is here to give us the scoop on the photos and on the plans for the upcoming nuptials. Thanks so much for being here. Pleasure. Thank well, you. let's take a look at the first one. This is the informal one that people uh -huh. are buzzing about because they do, um, they, they look very affectionate physically, which is something which is a bit of a departure in what you've seen in some of the royal uh, engagement photos. And they seem relaxed, they seem happy. What did you think when you saw this one? Well, this is an extraordinary departure for a royal engagement photo. When you look at, back at Prince Philip and the Queen all those years ago, they're both standing next to each other very stiffly. And even Charles and Diana. Charles actually had his back to Diana as she kind of put her arms around him. And so he had his is, arms crossed That's in front right, of him. that's right. So the, the, the sort of mutual admiration, the overall sense of romance that we get from this image is really just so beautiful. Um, tell us about the photographer who shot all of these, famous photographer, and has quite a history with the royal family. That's right. It's Peruvian photographer Mario Testino, and he had a long relationship with Diana. He shot some of the most iconic images of Diana, which also did a lot to sort of soften her image and show who she really was. Prince William has worked with him a number of times, so it's really no surprise that he chose Mario to shoot such important images of him and Kate. It was amazing, actually, because you see the engagement photo of, of uh, Diana and, um, and Prince Charles, and you see the same exact ring then on Kate Middleton's hand. Yes. Um, you know, sadly, how the first marriage ended, and you really have high hopes that this couple, that things will be very different for them. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, all the signs do point to that. I mean, when you think back to Charles and Diana, they met and they were married within less than a year, whereas William and Kate have really taken things slowly. It's been eight years, and they've waited until they're absolutely ready to be thrown into the spot light in this way so I think they're very prepared for what's ahead. Um, I want to ask you they also say this is the first time that an informal portrait has actually been released by members of the royal family a contrast from the formal ones that were released yes. uh, in, in times past um, and some say that this is proof that William is sort of driving how this is going to turn out not the monarchy uh, doing what they want to do as a mm -hmm. couple not being led by you know all the pressures of the monarchy that's right traditionally it's the Queen's private office who arranges the whole royal wedding so what we're seeing here is perhaps William having more of a hand in how things are done we know that him and Kate did choose the images that were going to be released for the engagement and you know he's He's definitely trying to soften the image. He's winning some arguments. He may not win others. I, we know that he wanted to have a public lottery of 100 tickets for Westminster Abbey, but security fears mean that that might not happen, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So yeah. there's give and take here. You bring up the security issue, and we saw that on display last week. Uh, the student right. protesters literally attacking Prince Charles yeah. and Camilla's car, throwing paint on it, shattering a window, brought up a lot of questions about, wait a minute, how could, the, how could there be that much of a breach in security that they could get that close to the royal family? What is the buzz about that in London? Well, it's been a, a, a huge breach of security. Everybody's talking about it. And, of course, the riots and the protests in London have been a huge issue for the royal family, what, thinking about the wedding planning. And, um, you know, there are worries that protesters may try to sabotage the wedding day so royal security has been up and obviously Scotland Yard in the UK is on a full alert to really try and ensure that the wedding goes absolutely smoothly it's going to be a huge world event and uh, London wants to make sure it runs efficiently right and they want it to be special and private but at the same time it's going to be viewed by millions upon millions around millions the world so it's upon millions yes it's a, it's a huge undertaking it is it is but you know British security will be doing its utmost to ensure this event runs smoothly. That we can be sure of. Well, the uh, engagement photos are certainly beautiful, and we wish the couple the very best. Absolutely. Eloise Parker, great to have you with us this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you.